In the previous episode, we explored the Underdark some more. We fought some Duragar, Dwagar, Dur Duragar. I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce them. I've never have. I'm just, I'm, I like Dwagar because that sounds, sounds right. <laughs> and we also found this like arcane tower thing uh, off down over here, but I don't know how to figure that puzzle out yet, yet being a big part of that. We could do a whole lot of jumping around though. That's all obvious that we can, we can do that, but I'm not gonna do that right now. No, instead, what we learn from all of these nerds is that, I don't know why I just picked that. <laughs> I don't know why I just picked that hammer up. Um, we know that one of these deep gnomes was a, was a slave. And um, I wanna figure out if we can find them. A water damage letter imploring the recipient to be cautious around the far shore, to, uh, shore of the Ebon Lake, as Dwagar rumored to be prowling in the area. You don't say. Discard a journal. I'll take that. I'll take that for sure. It's funny how my character is now just saying what I say. Do, do, do. Where did it go? Oh my goodness, it's it's lost in my inventory now, isn't it? There it is. Okay. Read. We threw a surprise party for Ironfoot. How that idiot made it past 150 is a mystery, but it's cause it's cause for celebration either way. When he saw the fire whiskey we'd been brewing, I swear he'd tear up. I had only a cup of the stuff, but I can't feel my tongue anymore. <laughs> the lunatic finished the barrel that night. I have no idea how he made it to his next shift, but Mirna claimed she needed him inside the wagon to guard inventory. The burrow warden didn't say a word when the snore started. Layabout is lucky. Um, is lucky she's got a soft touch. I'd best get some sleep. Orders just came in for practice shovels and picks at pickaxes for the younglings. And I've yet to harvest the zerk wood. Where does the time go? It's like this whole little world down here. It's a whole little world. And I don't mean that in like a... Uh, ooh, a new uh, recipe. I don't mean that in like a way where it's just like a bunch of gnomes and dwarves. <laughs> you know, I'm not trying to make that kind of joke here. Let me be clear. So, mentioned yesterday we were on Hurricane Watch, right? Right? Ooh, underground dwagar boat. Where does this take us? I want to find out, but I also want to go check out the other side of the shore real quick. Um, yeah, so we were on Hurricane Watch. It came through. Came ripping on through as just a storm it was just like <laughs> it, it it went north of us last night um so it was it was fine we just got some thunder and some lightning and some wind as i kind of expected and really not much uh not much else that happened but there were other places that get, got hit way harder than us it was just our our area just typically we we tend to avoid it so it's not a big thing ooh, gold necklace ooh a dirt mound all right can i have this so let's open this up, then we're gonna check out what this gold necklace is about. Da -da -da. Loot. Ooh. Arrows to Asterian. Lightning area to, uh, arrow to Asterian. Take that. He's just getting a bunch of arrows now. How do I get this thing? Can't reach. Can I pull it down? Hmm. Can I jump up there? Very glad no, no. and Lazel settled things without letting any blood. I don't want to talk to you. I would have enjoyed the spectacle, but not losing either one of those lunatics. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, she's dancing. So, here's the thing. Oh, we can jump up here. Heck yeah. Give me that necklace. What a weird thing. Just like, yes, let's grab this random necklace. I mean, I could sell it. That's the benefit of it. Oh, just took a bit of damage. So, I, I'm basically, I'm recording two videos tonight. Why am I recording two, two videos? Well, on top of being on Hurricane Watch last night, uh, we were getting ready to go to bed. I told this story in my latest Terraria episode because I, I literally just got done recording it, getting it up. Um, and now I'm recording this one instead. I don't know why I just picked up the apple. That's gross, it was half eat. So my wife and I last night, we watched Prey on um, on Hulu. It was, it was a movie that I've known was existing. I knew really, very few things about it but it was one of those that uh over time i've just like heard rumors about it and someone had mentioned it to me being like oh you should absolutely where is she up there get the, get down there no stop ah! jumping up there team <laughs> get over here thank you <laughs> um 
It was one of those where I, I heard rumors about it and like, oh, it's actually a prey movie or not prey, a uh, predator movie. I was like, what? Like, oh, okay, that seems kind of interesting. So basically, it's it's. I'm not going to give away any of the movie, but it is a. <clears throat> it's set in uh, in colonial America, and the main character is a Native American woman who is a, you know trying to be a hunter, which is kind of difficult in that uh, that culture at that time. A vessel wobbles on the lake's murky waters. And, uh, and, and one of the predators shows up and is, like, doing hunting. Like, because that's what Predator does. If you've ever seen Predator, then it's not much I could say other than it's an alien that hunts things. It's trying to find, like, the biggest game, essentially, and, and, uh, it, it, it likes to hunt. So, it was doing that, and it was a, it was an enjoyable movie, but we got to kind of towards the end of the movie. And our toddler comes downstairs because we had her and her older brother, uh, watching Monsters, Inc. in his room just to kind of keep them out of our hair and the other two kids had gone to bed. And she comes down and she crawls on my lap. I'm like, oh, you are really warm. And then we check her and yeah, she has a fever, like a really bad fever. So we go to sleep last night. She, she sleeps in our bed with us and she just has terrible fever like all night. Like she she woke me up a couple times just by touching me and she was so hot. Like normally she touches me. I like normally I don't get enough sleep so I'm out out. But she would like touch me and just she was so hot that it would wake me up. And we checked her temperature a couple times we keeping an eye on her. And then her fever broke this morning but she still wasn't really feeling good and throughout the day it's kind of been up and down. Um but we started playing a board game with the kids cuz the kids didn't have school. I'm going to finish this story before I push forward here by the way. Um Actually, you know what? I shouldn't. I shouldn't sail off. I should check the rest of this place before I go sailing off. Um, anyway, so Something we we here. were gonna play a board game because the kids were stuck home because they had no school due to uh, the, the potential of the um, what do you might call it the the hurricane coming through and everything, right? And we're playing Munchkin, which is a very mean board game, <laughs> but that's kind of the point of it. So we're playing against each other, and then I'm noticing one of our kids just doesn't feel good. It, 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 she just didn't want to. She just didn't want to be there. It wasn't necessarily because of the game. It was mostly down to the fact that she just wasn't feeling it. It was starting to hit her, and we're like, "Oh no, okay, you're now you've got a fever." She was complaining that she was really cold, and it's like, "Yeah, okay, I'm fine. This sounds very familiar." And then about uh, an hour into this board game, we're getting towards the end of it. I'm like. Hmm. My third's not feeling good. Ooh, you know what? I think I I think I'm getting it too. I, uh, uh, this is a fungal person. It's gonna be fun to check out. Do I want to go that way, or I should probably go up and backwards first? Let's go check out this area if I can. Uh, never mind. It's a chasm. I don't know if I can actually get up that way. Ooh. The air's thick with spores. They must thrive in the dark. All right, we gotta be careful here then. Um. Yeah. So I'm recording twice tonight. Because I may be out for the count tomorrow. More are coming. What does that mean? Voice. What was that? They're coming. They're coming. Um, tell me, I'm not imagining that voice. Still your mind to this unusual voice, or that voice does sound like the urges. The urges don't give warnings panic is is the butler back i almost feel his beady eyes on your back or you almost feel it uh paladin fill your fill your mind with the words of your oath drown out the voice i don't know if i want to drown out the voice i want to i want to say the voice it, it doesn't sound like the urges the urges don't give warnings careful if we can hear it perhaps it can hear us mm. they are coming Okay, what does that mean? Something about these things in here, I'm sure. I bet you we're gonna fight some spore people. Oh my goodness, yeah, fungus, baby. Fungus. Got some toadsteel. We were swallowed by a chorus of turbulent music. Through one creature sing many voices. The harmony of an entire collective. I kind of want to be cool with them, you know? Sovereign. He has come. He is here. Huh. 
Why am I all blue? Why am I so blue? <laughs> what is this going on there? The choir fades. A single melody rises above the others, brassy and commanding. I am sovereign. Are we you going for mass vision? effect here? Your lifeless body wrapped in fungal tendrils. The sovereign is threatening you. State your purpose. I don't know if I want to fight these guys, honestly, because I don't want to go full Last of Us here. Uh, focus on your parasite, connect with the sovereign. Ooh. Oh, okay. Do they have a parasite in them? Is that what this is? We can use persuasion. I'm a traveler seeking adventure. Um, we can insight, seek understanding, focus on the sovereign song or intimidation. My purpose is private. Let me pass and I will leave you unharmed. These tricks of the mind don't frighten me. I'll kill you. Let me pass. I've come for the runaway gnome. Oh, that's also true. I'm going to say my purpose is private. Let me pass and I will leave you unharmed because that's what my character would say. It's kind of, kind of cocky a bit, you know, it's only a five. I still only roll a four. Thank God for bonuses. <laughs> we detect a distinct quiver in every note. These creatures have experienced recent tragedy. Hmm. I sense your fear. I've come to aid you. Ooh, yeah. Can we like be? Can we be friends with these people? Yeah, I'm gonna say that. Fungal roots weave through your mind. Seeking your true intent. Then the sovereign drones a new melody. Cautious but welcoming. Descend to me. Let us speak in flesh. The persistent music coaxes you forward. The sovereign expects you. Interesting. Very interesting. So here's here's the thing. Here's the thing. I absolutely confused the heck out of these things. <laughs> I'm like, let me pass. Uh, my, my ways are private. Let me pass or I will kill you all. Hey, by the way, yeah, you uh, you went through a thing? You, you're having a hard time over here? Did you want something? No, I took go away. I keep accidentally clicking on them. It's like, oh, by the way, you guys went through like, a bad thing? I'm, I'm here to help you. He's like, you're... Are you here to save us or help us? I don't know. Oh, Topping us off because there's likely I'm going to get into a fight here if I don't play this right. Come on. Give me that safe. Ebon Lake Grotto. Hook Horror Spore Servant. Ooh. So that that is a Hook Horror, which is a, uh, a beast that has then been taken over by these spores. How interesting. Oh, I like this. Ooh, there's a dwarf here. Hello, dwarf. Speak up. Seems the shrooms are letting in more people every day. You see a fella on his own on your way in. Dwarf. Balin's his name. Uh, can you describe him? Bald, blue tunic, dumb as a stick. No, no, I haven't, um, haven't seen him. Right. Never mind. Oh, she's a vendor. All right, who is he to you? My useless husband. Sent him for an errand. It's no surprise he's made a mess of it. Oh my goodness, you're one of those people. All right, show me your wares. I think we could probably get rid of quite a lot here because we have like random hammers, bones, bottles, buckets. Like let's let's clear out our inventory here. Get rid of all this stuff. Lots of armor and weapons and rings. Just basically stuff we don't need. Uh, we want to keep that wand of fireballs. I will remove one of these shovels. And, uh, oh, that's right. There's all this stuff. Could I, should I just sell this? I kind of feel like I should. It's just kind of taking up space. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting rid of it. Is that a bad thing? Let me know. It's my, actually, don't let me know. It's my choice. I'm getting rid of them. That's what I would do. That's my choice. Uh, I want to keep the... Well, actually, we can get rid of some shards. Poison slime bombs. Let's get rid of a couple of these. I want to keep the grease bottles. Get rid of the gold ingot. And the bronze ingots. Cool. 
I like that. I like I like what we've done here. So I'm getting 281 gold out of that. But um, let's look and see what she's got. Amulet of Restoration. Ooh, it comes with a healing word and a mass healing word. That's like really good. It's only 320 gold. I think I'm going to get that and give that to what's her face. Um, this is a flail. Which Shadow Heart might be able to use. And if so, actually, that's a pretty good weapon for her. Um, medium hide armor plus two. That's pretty good. Padded armor. And what else she got? Chain shirt. It's like medium armor. Heavy armor, ring mail. You take one less slashing damage. Uh, gain plus one bonus to strength saves. It's pretty good. I'm like really tempted to get this restoration amulet. What about weapons here? Nothing like too crazy. Um, ring of jumping. That's kind of nice. Yeah, okay. Does she have anything else that's like hyper good? Not really. So we're gonna go ahead and barter. I'm gonna swap to her. Yeah, I'd rather just not have the animal friendship. We're gonna go ahead and buy this. Maybe my offer's been refused. Sorry, sorry. Um, can I equip this? Equip. Why is she not equipping? Oh my goodness. Okay, fine. I'm gonna have to do that. <laughs> Let's do it the, the old fashioned way. Is it this one? Beastmasters, yeah. Boom. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of that. Okay, then there was some armor here, wasn't there? Chain shirt, it's medium. I don't know. I like the radiant shockwave. What about the weapon? Where's the weapon? I mean, it's pretty good. It doesn't have the fairy fire effect, but it's also kind of good, right? Let's get it for her. We got the money, right? Let's get her something nice. <laughs> um, we can go ahead and put that flail on. I'm going to hold on to this weapon, though, because it might end up being pretty good if we fight more Dwagar, right? Uh, we also have weapon attacks deal two acid damage. That's not bad. What about my dude? Do I have two rings? I don't. I'm only running one ring. I might just take up that that acid uh, damage because if you deal acid damage, I believe you reduce the AC. Uh, acid damage. Oh, it just does acid damage. What is it? Is, uh, isn't it? Don't we have acid arrows? I would have to check Asterion here. What's he got? Yeah, acid... So it just says acid. I think acid reduces the um, uh, the AC. I'm gonna I'm gonna hold on to that concept of getting that ring. I'll will come back in a minute. Uh, find the missing boots. Okay, it's a deep moan gnome. Deep moan. The deep gnome is apparently over here. I would love to go see what he's up to. Chasm creeper. Yeah, I don't want to I don't want to steal any of this stuff. I don't feel like I need to, you know. Um, oh, the deep gnome is up top. All right, that's fine. I, st I still want to go this way and see what's over there. Can I go in there? Interesting. I don't, I don't know if I can. There's a lot going on here. Oh my goodness. After the light comes the bang. Step away. Step away. Oh, okay. Okay, something's going on over here. They don't want me over here. Well, we don't want to cause a, a scene, so we're going to, yeah, we're going to walk away. And I'm going to go check out this gnome. See what he's got, you know. He, he may not have anything. But you never know. Oh, by the way, the whole point to me saying, like, I'm not feeling great earlier. <laughs> and it's, and um, I'm recording two episodes tonight, even though I probably shouldn't. I should probably just go rest. Um, is that... Uh, this, this is probably not going to be a hyper long episode. I would like it to be, but I just gotta, I gotta keep myself, uh, man, especially after having just been sick recently, I just gotta try to stay on top of it. All right. We got the gnome here. This is the gnome, right? It's like a bunch of dead things here. Don't. Don't what? Uh, in investigation. She's helpless. Check if she has anything worth taking. Wow. Or what's wrong with you? Fuego. Ugh. Me up. Poison. You know, I can 
cure that. Uh, consider what you know of Dwagar poison lore. Mm. I have the antidote. Give her an antitoxin. Give her the antidote. We have the antidote. We have a, a Dwagar thing. Yeah, Carlock approves too. I, so if I wouldn't have killed those Dwagar, I would not have had the antidote. Ah, gods. Whatever that is, I needed it. I peed in a bottle. <laughs> how, how could I pass by? You were in pain. Does there have to be a reason? Uh, yeah, how could I pass by? You were in pain. No arguments there. Felt like a hook horror was sorting through my guts. But... <clears throat> that cure did the trick. Quick sharp too. I thank you for your help. But I gotta get moving. Oh, it hurts. Shatterheart, not now. Girls, garters. Oh, I don't have time for this. My kin need me. You're in no condition to help anyone. Take it easy. Tell me what I can do. Yeah. Seems you're the helping kind. All right. I need you to rescue my kin. I can do that. Not charity, mind. We can pay. We're Iron Hand Clan. Best artificers in Baldur's Gate. Okay, I we like were that. We on an expedition down here when the Dwegar snatched us up. I got away, but not the others. The Greys have them digging out some old ruin across the lake. Okay, so I'm glad I came this way because I was about to cross the lake. Which, okay, let me let me set the scene for you for a moment. Uh, in my D and D campaign world, because I have my own world that I've built a bunch of stuff on through the different games that I've played. In my Underdark, uh, there is this giant lake in this, like, huge cavern that, that I always sent them into. Um, it's, it, you know, it's a long path to get to this huge, like, open cavern, but there's this big lake right in the middle of it. And if it, th there are some boats around there, and, you know, there's obviously, there have been kingdoms of drow that have come and gone, and there's, uh, you know, ruins all over the place. And there's also, like, drow that live down there, but there's really no... When they first get there, there's, like, no... Um, there's no sign of any kind of, uh, you know, like, civilization nearby. So, the players, you know, often, and this is the point of how I set this up, they choose to go one way or the other around the lake, and as they start doing that, they keep increasingly running into like dangerous foes like purple worms and whatnot and uh and umber hulks oh you know what? i actually didn't mention that yesterday or in in the previous episode where i talked about underdark dudes uh, an umber hulk is a, definitely a a monster that you see in the, the underdark or, or underground uh, fairly frequently anyway so y you know they they increasingly find these worse and worse things because i want them to go examine the lake and be like okay can we just cross this lake to get to the other side so we're not having to fight a bunch of stuff and i always put a boat i always put a boat like a wooden boat just like a rowboat that fits uh, you know the party or if the party is very big then there's a couple boats and they inevitably always get in and this is trap that i do <laughs> they get in the boat and they start rowing because oh there's there, there's boats the water's probably fine but they're like Ugh, but we are in the underdark you never really and 100 percent of the time they get ambushed by an abolith. <laughs> so I am expecting that same trick on me. I am expecting to fight an abolith, just so we're aware. Now that we've gotten that out of the way, <laughs> uh, what was this expedition your clan were on? Just mining for materials. Nothing unusual. The briefest hesitation, but enough. She's lying. But our <laughs> work pays well. Help my clan and we'll make it worth your while. I swear. Persuasion, you're lying. My persuasion ain't bad, right? I get plus five. Nah, you're lying. That was a 15. Uh, we can get guidance, though. I mean, we get a pretty good roll here. It's a 20. Natural 20. Critical success. We Oops, I didn't mean to... Oh, to turn damn it. That's all I can say. Accidentally right click. It's worth a lot to us. Understand? Something about some kind of war, searching to something that's a 
Is there dialogue history? Oh, there is. Oh my goodness, the first time I've used this, and it's great. Fine, it's complicated, but my clan has trouble back in the city. So back in Baldur's Gate. A blood feud. We were searching for something to turn the tide. That's all I can say, but it's worth a lot to us understand. Okay. Uh, no, I don't understand. Enough evasion and explain it. Yeah. Look, you've done me a good turn and you deserve the truth. But that's as much of it as I can tell. I swear it. Hmm. If you need to go your own way, I respect that. But still, I'm asking. Hmm. All right, I'll try to free your people. Thank you. Only wish I could go with you. No, you don't. But here. <sighs> I nabbed these boots from the greys when I ran. I'll feel better knowing you're using them to kick some dwegger ass. <laughs> I'll mark where I made my escape and uh, wait here, I suppose. Not much choice, eh? Okay. Ooh, Carlac like is inspired. Um. We'll check out the, the quest stuff in a moment. I want to see what these boots are. Boots of speed. Oh my goodness. Boots of speed. We get click heels as an action, which is going to give us... Click the heels of your boots to gain speed and freedom of movement. Okay. This is going to see your movement speed doubles and your enemies have disadvantage on opportunity attacks against you. Bonus action. It probably recharges on a rest. So I think what I do is I use the boots of speed. So we're going to pop on boots of speed for me because that's actually really great for me. Being able to double my speed, get in there, get my big hits in. Right. We, we all, we know the, the routine. Well, hello. Now, uh, Carlac, on the other hand, has no boots on. Or no, she does. She has the line breaker boots, right? Once per turn, when you dash, you gain a wrath for two turns. Plus one bonus damage to melee weapons. That's okay. What does a Starion have? When the wear stands and water during combat becomes electrified. Ah, uh, that's that's not super great. So what we're gonna do is we're going to give a Starion these. Yeah, I think that'll be better. What does she have? Come back from the wear. Heals the target. They gain initial three temporary HP. We're like never getting rid of those unless we get one that is like, you know, equal to. Did I ever get that necklace for her? Am I going crazy? I did. Okay, cool. Um, So if I go to her. Yeah, now she has these extra two. So we, we basically have just this massive healing bot for us. What is the creature doing to those corpses? I don't know. Should we find out? Sovereign's thick fingers stroke the corpse at its feet. A droning melody greets you as the creature turns its gaze to you. Flesh talker, I show you a memory. Watch and listen. A violent vision grips you. Dwega, dark dwarves chopping myconid remains. The Sovereign's song slows to the pace of a dirge. It is still in mourning. We laid waste to many, but intruders remain. Lakewood. Looks like we need to go to the, the lake. The Sovereign's song halts as it measures your worth. I sense your resolve. You will find Dwergar invaders near Lake's Edge. Cleanse the rot. Yeah, about that. Destroy them. I've kind of already done that. Dwegar invaders. We can manage that. Better than picking this fight, surely. Yeah, no, I agree with her. Um. Do, do, do. The Dwagar slaying the rot has been purged. The music shifts. Still melancholic, but now streaked with hope. Do you hear? A new harmony. Serenity. I name you Peace Bringer. Ooh, I like that. Fragrant spores waft through the air. Your heart swells with bliss with your every breath. Freely you have given to us. 
freely you may take. Take take what? The Guardian Gate is open. Go and claim your reward. Man, this is the easiest quest I've ever done. <laughs> but before this, I have another boon to ask of you. You have cut out the Dwergar blight, but not its source. In your mind's eye, Spore shows you a drow striding among Myconid dead. Near. This one is called. He hunted us. Hunt him in turn. Bring me his head, and I will know my circle is safe. I'm more than happy to kill this, whoever he is, but tell me there's something in it for us. Consider it done, I'll bring Nier's head to you. There'll be another reward for this, I hope. You're racking up quite a body count, and I think I've had enough running errands. No, it, it'll be done. The drow lurks in the ruins beyond the lake. Bring him death and return. I like this. I like that we came down here, not really knowing exactly what to expect. Like, this could have very easily have been just a very um, dangerous road essentially right like we need to get from point a to point b and we're gonna fight a bunch of things along the way that's kind of what i actually expected even though i think that's kind of a dumb thing to expect um based on what we know about the game Perhaps is right. I should get a mask. and now we're finding out like this place is just littered with extra stuff to do and i love it ah a visitor you're a welcome sight but let us observe the customs of the locals. The scholar's brow tenses. His voice spills into your skull, the spores connecting mind to mind. Blurg, proud member of the Society of Brilliance at your service. Or perhaps not. Your mind is far more complex than that of the fungi. Never heard of the Society of Brilliance, or I've never seen a hobgoblin. It is a hobgoblin. Wow, what a guess. That was nice. Never seen a hobgoblin like you before. Uh, were you here when the Dwagar attacked, or do you have anything interesting to trade? Never heard of the Society of Brilliance, is what I'm going to say. Understandable. We are small in number and rarely stay in one place for long. My colleagues and I are working to improve conditions in the Underdark. This need not be such a dire, hostile place. It's curious to find a surface dweller here. What has brought you down so deep? Um, deception, I collect mushrooms to sell on the surface. A mind flare infected me with a tadpole and honestly, kind of got all, kind of got lost down here. Now, a mind, let's just be honest. Let's be honest. He's gonna be like, whoa, 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 we need to kill you, right? I'm gonna be like, no, 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 I'm, I'm good, dude. I'm good. Actually, before we do that, Let's trade with him, because he may not want to trade with me after. Uh, the Baneful. Ooh, this is a short sword. Blades magical powers only function if it is bound to an Eldritch Knight or it's a Warlock pack or is a Warlock pack weapon. Packed weapon. Wow, that's hard to say. Uh, plus one bonus to damage and attack rolls on hit. Possibly Bane your target. Bane is nice. That means I get a 1d4 that they have to reduce their stuff by, which is nice. Uh, boots of genial striding, whereas movement speed is unimpeded by difficult terrain. That's pretty nice. Circuit of circlet of blasting gives scorching ray level two. Uh, this gives magic missile. This gives where can see dark up to forty feet. Um, the circlet is when the wearer gains lightning charges. They also gain three temporary hit points. The HP will disappear if the wearer runs out of lightning charges. That's actually kind of cool, the lightning charge thing. But he doesn't really have much else outside of those. I mean, I like this Baneful. I might buy this and give it to... Um, what's his face? Give it to Will. Let's do that. Let's, let's, let's buy that and give it to Will. Because I think that's pretty cool. Um, I've got like a lot of gear on me. Most of it not that great. Bardic Inspiration. Let's get rid of that. Um, the Helm of Smiting. No, let's get rid of that. Facebringer. 
did, what, did I not? I thought I was going to put the exterminator's axe on somebody. I don't remember. This is quarterstaff. We'll get rid of that. Trident. Uh, Rope of Summer. I think. I think we can get rid of these. Rid of that. That gives fe Featherfall. Actually, that's not a bad pair of boots. I'm going to hold on to those. What's this? Ever seeing eye? Fate life makes it easier for the wearer to succeed on death saves. Tarnished charm. I mean, I could like really equip my other companions. I haven't done much with them, so I'm, I think I'm gonna hold on to the rest. But man, we got <laughs> we, we actually made money out of that transaction. <laughs> totally okay with that. What was it that I bought from the baneful? That's right. Uh, yeah. Let's now let's tell. Them. Truly remarkable. But why come to the Underdark, where they hold so much power? Uh, explain the whole story. You were infected by an illithid tadpole. It's a miracle you're still intact. You must be worried sick, but have no fear. I have a friend who may be able to assist. Ormelium! I hope this is important, Berg. My Zerkwood samples need constant attention. It is. This adventurer has an illithid tadpole inside his head, but he hasn't turned. No ceramorphosis. What? That's impossible. Where did this guy come from? That's intriguing. Are you looking to have it extracted? Uh, a mind flare, die! <laughs> um... If I were playing a dwarf, that would be my option. Because for whatever reason, I really like playing dwarves as like Leroy Jenkins kind of characters. Uh, an illicit is your friend? How is that possible? Uh, yeah, wait, yes, absolutely. Open your mind to me. Let us see what lurks within. He's going to tell me the exact same thing. Uh, relax, let him search my mind. <laughs> or never mind, I'm done with mind flayers touching me. No, let's let's relax. Let's see where this goes. As the Melowan's mind pierces yours, the tadpole pulses with power. It feels ten times its size. Alive. Awake. Almost smug. This is most unusual. The incubation period should be complete. As should your transformation. But the lava is infused with strange magic. It appears to be in some form of stasis. Uh, can you extract the tadpole? No. It appears to be shielded from physical and magical influence. Moreover, the cranium has undergone severe trauma. It is a miracle the brain functions at all. Extraction would risk much. Uh, that doesn't sound ideal. Don't waste my time. So, hmm. Yeah, how, how severe? I have healing magic. Or my mind is addled. Can you tell me why? I kind of want to ask that because... That is a mystery I want an answer to. The lava is not the only creature that has been inside this brain, but at present it is the sole resident. <laughs> oh gods, what do you mean? <laughs> yes, please tell me. Your flesh has been borrowed into. Your flesh has been excavated. A tadpole need not tunnel when they greet their host. Unfortunately, beyond the assessment of my own kind, I cannot speculate what has passed through your cerebrum. But not to worry. Should you transform, I will happily perform a new examination. <laughs> uh, tell them about the strange mind flayer ship I was on? Sure. I mean, he, he seems to be like working with them. I don't normally trust a mind flayer, but he's not trying to eat my brains currently. A nautiloid? Fascinating. I have never set foot on one myself. 
They were our warships during the greatest eras of the Illicid Empire. We ruled the entire astral plane from their decks. The design was lost when the Gith rebelled and ended our dominion. You know what? I'm really glad I don't have Lizelle with me. She'd be, she would just attack him and try to kill him, wouldn't she? <laughs> thanks for the information. All that probing was useless in the end. No, thanks. Of course. I am sorry I cannot assist you in its removal. But I have an idea. Oh, perhaps I should start taking notes. There may be a way to bypass that stasis. There are many alchemical substances that can influence the mind. Um, isn't the stasis what the tadpole hasn't killed me yet? I do not intend to shatter its protection. I need only bypass the interference that prevents me from communicating with the lava. Ooh, okay. What kind of alchemy are we talking about? A tincture. Distilled from a collection of rare mushrooms. They have subtle psionic influence. I would require a fresh tongue of madness and timusk spores. But be warned, in their natural state, both of these mushrooms can be quite dangerous. Timusks cause confusion in those that approach them. The tongue is self-explanatory. Okay, okay, so eating those doesn't sound like a great idea or lovely. So where do I find these mushrooms? Yeah. The Underdark, of course, although they are quite rare and their discovery perilous. Hmm. I imagine Lenore would have them in her possession. She served Mistra as a cleric. Um, where does she live? The southwest when I last saw her, although her tower does have a tendency to move. Okay, so this might give us information on the tower. Okay, I'm cool with that. Um, and it, you know, just say like, I'll come back when I find the mushrooms. May your travels be safe and swift. Cool. That was really weird and unexpected. <laughs> not gonna lie. That, that thing better not blow up. Thank God. Okay. <clears throat> Let's go get our reward from this other quest. I was not expecting any of that. Uh, that was really cool. I really like that. I think it's cool that they just kind of throw a random mind flayer in there to give you a bunch of information. And you know what? Honestly, that is some good information. Ooh, party gained 80 XP. 60 XP? What for? Why did we just gain a bunch of XP? Defeat the Dwagar intruders. Oh yeah, let's let's look at these. Okay, so find a cure. Um, a friendly mind player might know a way to remove the parasite. Cool. To help us, we need those things. Okay. Uh, we need to kill Nier. Cool. That's a it's a drow. Talk to Sergeant Thrin. Gave us boots. The original owner is probably still interested in get them back. There's a mushroom picker somewhere out there. And then we got to free the deep gnomes. We also had these two complete. We cured Sola. She was very thankful. And we reached the sovereign's refuge. Okay. Right. Okay. So let's, um, let's loot all this stuff, right? Did I not? I thought I did. I must have looted it, I guess. Uh, let's get that mushroom. What's the shadow of... <laughs> let's find out. It, uh, ooh, shrouded in shadow. Class action. Become invisible. Invisibility ends early if you attack or cast another spell. Dang. That is really good. What is, um... No, I don't want to talk to you. Oh, my goodness. I mean... I'm in some kind of conversation. Can I character select? Can I go back to me? What's going on here? Game menu. I'm actually not sure. Dialogue history. Do, do, do. 
close. I, I have like broken something here a little bit. And selecting any of them does not help. And I can't loot. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna save. It won't let me save. I can't load. Okay, oh my goodness. Main menu? What kind of, what kind of wonkiness is this? If I like, no, all right. I, <laughs> I guess I'm gonna end this episode here and try to figure out what the heck's up with my game. That's, that's unfortunate. <laughs> okay, I can't even quit it. I have to Alt F4. Wow, game. Sometimes, you know what? I really like hanging out with you. You're a cool game, but every now and again, now and again, you're a really mean dude. And I just think you need to check your, your inner turmoil here. And I think that this, this next big update that's coming out, hopefully you fix this kind of thing. I'm not sure what I broke here, but it's uber broken. <laughs>